little beautiful souls. Zan here. So today we have death, two of cups, and the wheel of fortune. And we have another visit from Anubis. So yeah, it seems like the universe has some love messages this week. So yeah, those of you who are starting new relationships, it's fun and exciting and just fills you with so much joy. And even the water in this um, picture is green, the heart chakra. But you want to make sure you don't get so entrapped and entwined with each other. You still need to have your own space. So you can see here with this little space there. Because you are still both individuals, even though it may feel like you are one soul when you're together. And that's perfectly fine. There are a lot of twin flames out there that are coming into union. And that is how it feels. But you do need to still have your space. And a good way to really um, keep your identity while in this new relationship is really letting go of the past, not focusing or even comparing this new partner to old partners. They are themselves. Let them be themselves. Learn them for who they are, not for who you've been with in the past. This is a rebirthing in this relationship, like a new start. So take advantage of it and really put forth the effort in getting to know this person for who they are. And then with the Wheel of Fortune, Anubis judged everybody by their heart, weighed the heart to the feather, and it's really weighing that out yourself and how you treat your new person and how you treat the relationship will determine the outcome if you go in with an open heart and really learning who they are for um, themselves rather than people of the past, the universe will turn in your favor. But if you keep comparing them, it's going to sour and turn in the opposite direction. So yeah, that's what I have for you today and I'll see you all tomorrow.